Hello again. Another warm one today. Not sunny at the moment, which is good because it's rather hot. But um, yeah, not bad, not bad. Gonna head down the seawall, see what's happening down there. I'm also gonna be trying out some slightly different ways to hold the phone today with this different case on. So if I get fingers in front of the lens at any point, apologies in advance, but I need to learn how to use it, especially for tomorrow, because I want to film what I'm doing tomorrow and you'll want to see it. But considering it's supposed to be 26 degrees and sunny when I'm doing it, the phone will overheat unless it's in this case. So I might as well learn it now and get it down to a fine art. That noise is where they're clearing all the um, growth out the side of the bridge. Lovely. Well, that's no good, is it? No going on the observation deck today for me. Oh well, off to the seawall. I shall observe from the top of the steps instead. Got to get a bit of observation in, as you know. Right, yes. Quite a calm sea today, so I can't see myself getting splashed on the seawall like the other day. Lovely. He's enjoying himself. Just stopped doing the backstroke now. He's waving his arms around just now, lovely. Got one ahead, we've got one behind. Lovely. I think we've got a crossover coming up. Maybe we haven't got one behind. No, we haven't. The sound's just playing tricks on me today. Obviously blowing on the wind. Not to worry. First train of the day. Let's get some more. Cormorant! Hello Cormorant! How are you doing? Doo doo! Happy train! Always the smaller ones that are the happiest! Yay! Lovely! I couldn't turn the phone fast enough just now because I'm holding it in a different different grip. But it's okay, I'll get used to it. Here comes the Stuart Cruises. Is it busy? I can't see at the moment, but I'll look back on the big screen. Thank <laughs> you. 
and all is well with the world. As we can see, the salty dog is reopened after its few days being closed for whatever reason. Perhaps I walked over, looked and seen what was written on the on the board, I'd have known. But anyway, they're open now and that's all that matters. All good. Oh yes. Turn! I think that's a gull. Yeah, a gull, not a turn. Right, time to tootle back. All good. Right, time to tootle back. All good. Oh yes, in case anyone's thinking or interested, I did have my first hot meal, warm meal, yesterday. And um, great success. I'm not going to be having a, a curry soon with big bits of meat in it and chewing involved, but I'm certainly back on semi-normal food, so it's all good. Obligatory water dribble. Really can't see from here if it's dribbling or not today, but that's where it is, if it is. If it's not, I'm sorry for wasting your time. Will it be a happy train? No, too big to be happy. Bye bye. Right, well that's the sea wall. Gonna head along the seafront, at least as far as up here. And then pop back down through town. Get home, get ready for my big day tomorrow. Oh, mysterious, isn't it? But yep, this is a different day tomorrow. Different day indeed. Now this was on Facebook last night, there's my finger, um, this balcony up here flows flags, always has, always will do I expect, never really noticed it that much before, but someone was saying well, what are the flags about because they change all the time, well it turns out it's all to do with sporting events that are currently going on, the countries involved in the sporting events, so it's obviously a sports fan up there, that was on Facebook last night, and that's the, um, just down here, Ran the thing from the uh, Thornhill and by the Lido. Here we go. September the 25th, 1852. Tynmouth celebrates independency for the port. Um, up until then, the port was connected with the port of Exeter. And uh, on that date, they got freedom and they're their own port. So they held a celebration by having a, a procession through the town. Here's a picture of it. Buildings are still quite recognisable where it was without having to think too much about it. And um, in the description to this video is a link to the Facebook post it came from, which tells you all the details about it in great detail, much more so than I could possibly hope to remember and recite to you now from memory. So anyway, check this link out.
and there's the ever-present dredger working hard to ensure we have no beach. Hello, Mr. Seagull. Well, again, I'm not heading all the way up to the end of the point today. Um, did it yesterday. Back along the top of the seafront now, the upper 10 carriageway. I am indeed. Here we go, up down carriageway, going to be closed for Memorial Day. Now, someone was asking me in the comments about this, I won't say lamp post, because it's not really a lamp post, is it? It's just a decorative post in the middle of the steps. They were saying, what's it there for? It's obviously a feature because the railing goes around it. I said, I didn't really know, to be honest. It's not like anything else. There's no other ones here. It's just a one of its kind. And I look back on my normal wisdom video where I showed the uh, bus coming along the seafront. And this was right by the uh, Victorian shelter they demolished. It makes me think it was one of the original um, street lamp poles. Possibly. Maybe left as a nod to days gone by. When they demolished the shelter. To make a better view for the view. Here we go, into the triangle. Brunch. Triangle pet shop. Words and pictures. Losers of course. There's the fountain. And... Last but not least, in the stretch of imagination, the coasters. That's the boss of um, coasters there, in the black shirt and shorts. So um, he's a big supporter of the channel. So if you're ever in Tynmouth, be sure to pop into coasters and give him some support back. He mentions me to a lot of people in there, which is great. Nearly forgot something I need to get in town. So before I go off and call it a day on the walk, carry on going a little bit further. Yay, goat! Poundland is due to open this Saturday apparently, so I read last night. Well that's that, just going to pop up past the noodles, job done. Still standing, noodles! Well, there we go. I've lidled and to be honest, nearly fell over with the price rise. Ever since I've been going there, I've been able to get two, four pints of uh, organic milk, £1.49. Now they want £1.49 for two pints. Whee! So that's 100% increase, isn't it? All of a sudden, two pints for the price of four. Not very good, but anyway, that's that. Hopefully you've enjoyed my little wander around this morning. And as I say, I've got something special planned for tomorrow. I don't think I've done too bad with using this case on the phone today. I've tried a lot more zooming in and experimental stuff. Seems to be okay, got my finger a couple of times, but there we go. But all good otherwise, so I'll see you tomorrow for what I hope to, it can be a special video. Bye.